Hi, my name is Sven Johnston. I work for a local company here called GigaSavvy. We're an ad agency um, focused on the online industry. And tonight I would like to give you some insights into kind of the changes and evolving of social media. So as most people think of social media, they think of Facebook, Twitter, but in reality, social media has been around for much longer than that. Talking about bulletin boards, forums, so it's going back like, you know, 10, 20 years easily since the early ages of computer. But for most people, you know, social is Facebook, Twitter, and the newer things out there. So I'd say kind of like around 08, 09, when those things kind of came into light, people really got aware of it. Um, at the beginning, there wasn't a lot of noise in social. So if you would do a really good job, you could really kind of make an impact. A lot has changed over time. And I see some of the challenges that people think. One, they think it's free. And it is technically free, but it's just a very time-intensive process. So it's labor-intensive, which means you have to kind of budget for that. The other thing that has changed a lot as well is that, as I said, in the past, you kind of could organically kind of grow your community and really kind of get out there. Nowadays, you kind of have to think about that you also have to have some ad budget to add on top of that because a lot of platforms like Facebook, for your content to actually be visible, you kind of have to put some money to it to basically have either like a sponsored post or basically give it more attention. Um, the key thing in social in general is community building. Um, a lot of people get obsessed about the numbers, you know, how many likes you have or fans, what it used to be. Um, the key thing is that you build a community that really is, you know, a true promoter of your product, that really love what you do, um, that share the content because they want to share it. Um, that then combined with um, some ad budget and some creative you know, design assets, you can really build a huge community that can support you long term. Um, people always ask, you know, do it in-house or use an agency. Ultimately, we always tell our clients that ultimately long term, you want to do it in-house and maybe have an agency that supports you. But sometimes that's not possible. So you can start with an agency to basically build you the team kind of run it and then slowly transfer it over and then use the agency, you know, as a consultant that kind of give you insight and trends. Because one thing that I feel, especially in the online marketing space, yes, you can have an else team, but it's never going to be as good um, just with the trends changing so fast. I mean, I always say, like, you know, things evolve every 9 to 12 months. So definitely have an outside resource to help you in that. Um, but... You know, be out there, have some fun, find the story that your company um, is proud of and, you know, that people want to share. Because the core thing about social is, you know, why should people care? So you have to have a story that basically people want to be involved in and get passionate about.